Ori, welcome, welcome to Scotland, welcome to Glasgow City. How have you found an interesting time since you joined? Uh, how have you found it so far? Uh, it's been lovely so far. Um, obviously, with not that much football, it gives gives us um, a bit more time to explore a bit more the country and uh, get to check out all the hikes, all the waterfalls. That has been amazing. I've loved the countryside. I've loved the the land so far. So I've really enjoyed that part of it a lot so far. And how how have you managed to adjust to the snow of Scotland? It's been beautiful. It's been beautiful. Uh, well, like like. Recently, obviously, it, it snowed a lot, so you get stuck inside a bit. But other than that, you know, it's it's beautiful. It's um, uh, yeah, because in South Africa, it doesn't uh, it hardly ever snows, and uh, same in Holland where I live, really. But it yeah, most it ha it hasn't snowed at the times that I was there. So uh, so it's been beautiful to be able to just watch the snow and just to see it cover the ground and see everything white. It's been quite exciting. It's good to hear you're settling well, settling in well. Um, the previous club you joined from, uh, Allen United, you won the double there. How, how do you sum up your time there? Obviously, winning, winning the double can't get much better than that. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it was amazing. Obviously, also last year was uh, just such an unprecedented time with like the COVID and the uncertainty throughout the whole, throughout, you know, especially with, in terms of when the league was going to start. So we had to, we just, we had to just, we just had to be consistent. Um, and, 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 and it also gave us time to get to, to get to know each other much better, uh, which allowed us to, to have better chemistry on the field and, um, and and just and just be able to play for each other throughout every single throughout the season and game in and game out and we were it was a small squad so so we had to you know we really just had each other to rely on so it was an amazing experience really as yeah absolutely loved it I'm so grateful to have gone through it and to have been there in that particular year that the club was able to do that history the double. Uh, yeah, just absolutely love it. But uh, you know, having done everything there, I I thought I felt like it was the perfect time for me to experience something new. And you mentioned history there. Um, I think every football fan knows the World Cup is is the pinnacle, and uh, everyone would love to play in it. You were part of that uh, historic South Africa team that qualified for the first ever time. Talk us through how how what's that like playing at a World Cup. It was unbelievable. I was, I was, I was, I was not there when the team qualified. I was, I was not quite in the team yet. Uh, I had um, brought in. I was brought in more like two months after, after the 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 country qualified for the World Cup. So I was just really just fortunate to just be there, um, just keep working, and then and the coach so that. Um, you know, there was so that I brought something different that she that she that she wanted to take with to the World Cup, and I was fortunate enough to to make the squad and fortunate enough enough to start all three games. So it was an unbelievable experience. Like nothing really tops that. I can uh, not many footballers uh, can say male or female that they've been to the World Cup. It's the biggest football competition in the world. I'm just really honoured and so privileged to have been given that opportunity. Also, um, your your new city teammate uh, Janine was also in the squad. How how well do you know each other? Obviously, you went to the World Cup yeah. together. I've known Janine for uh, since 2014. Yeah, so uh, she was she was she was there when I when I was when I first. Um, uh, when I first got into the national team, and she's still there now, so she's like a veteran. Uh, yeah, no, no, she's uh, she's she's amazing, amazing professional player. Uh, it's just it's it's just awesome to be at the same club with her right now and get to play. Hopefully, we'll get to play alongside each other again. And um, yeah, she's an amazing player. Um, great mentality and character on and off the field. Um, yeah, it was it was awesome to to be to be captained by her at the World Cup. It was yeah, it was unbelievable. I'm looking ahead, you say you joined with her now at the club. Um, what's what are you looking forward to for the second half of the season at, at Glasgow City once we get back underway? Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing. <laughs> <laughs> 
no, no, I'm looking, uh, yeah, just looking forward to playing football again. Um, looking forward to getting to experience the, you know, getting under my feet how, you know, what, um, what the style of play is like uh, in the team and also the teams that we play against, getting to see whether is it physical or technical, uh, just getting my head around those things. And hopefully it doesn't take me too long to, to get up and running. And uh, hopefully I can, um, yeah, I can get, I can, I'll be able to just uh, uh, help the team as, as, as soon as we are able to, to restart. Um, yeah, just looking forward to just playing again, looking forward to, uh, playing with the girls that I've gotten to know really well off the field. So uh, I'm sure that will help with the chemistry going on the field. Obviously, um, just lastly, do you have a message to the, the supporter, the, the city supporters of what to look forward, what what they can look forward to seeing from you? Uh, that I will, I will always, uh, I will always give my, give my all and, uh, I just, I'll just continue to fight and um, hopefully um, be able to bring some of my best performances this year for this club and, uh, and look to, to retain um, uh, an, another historic year uh, of, of the league. Uh, that's, that's obviously our number one priority and that's what I was brought in here for and hopefully I'm able to fulfill the, um, the desire of the club uh, to why they brought me here. Okay, thank you very much, Odie. Thank you so much.